sweets out, Jay. No, not that. That's a tomato. Baba, I've got to go. Patience, my boy. If you don't chase it, the world won't run away from you. That's it. Hold it by its stem and pull gently. That way you'll get out the whole weed, roots and all. Ma, I really have to go. Frank will be waiting for us. Hold still, Ayanda. Ayanda. Yeah? Don't move. Shoot. Come on. Come on, we're late. I'm coming. Ma. Okay, you can go. But first take that off. Hi. Come on. Carefully, Ayanda. Hi. Before you rush off, where are you going? To meet Frankie. And what time will you be back? Later, Mama. Before sunset, you hear? Okay. Uh, come on. Yeah. Where are you going in such a hurry? Sorry, we're late, Frankie. It's okay. I don't like the look of him. What's he doing? He's messing with my place. That's what. And he'd better stop. Or I'll be forced to frighten him out of his skin. Oh, Danam. He doesn't look like a sort of person who'd scare easily. Tell me. Do you know who owns this little warehouse? <laughs> Is Mr. Bumji still around? Dead, perhaps. I don't know any Mr. Bumji. Don't think anyone actually owns Everything it. is owned by someone or other, let me assure you. Nobody actually lives here, do they? Hmm? They say there are spooks in there. Spooks? <gasps> We've heard them moaning and groaning. <coughs> spooks! No such thing as spooks, ghosts, ghouls or gremlins. <gasps> the only monster you are likely to see today, my fine young friends, is me. <gasps> Ooh. <gasps> and you, Mrs... Have you got a license to sell rotten fruit and vegetables on a public street? He's going to try and take my place away from me. I know it. Well, we just have to stop him, won't we? It's the second time he's been snooping around. What do you think he wants? He probably wants to build a rotten office block or something. Why else would he want to know who owns the warehouse? He wants to buy it from there. What's that? He dropped this the first time he came. It looks like a plan. There's some kind of ramp, isn't it? Looks yeah. like a garage to me. How are the facts, Spider? Details. You wouldn't mind if I went to check on them, would you? There's a ramp there. There's a ramp here. It's big. Maybe yeah. it's a parking garage. Oh, it's only you. Uh, excuse me? Is, is anyone home? Hello? Huh? 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 Who is that? It, uh, it's me, Jay. Oh. Uh, I'm Kobo. Are you cold? Yes. The TV said there's a cold front moving in. Where I am, there's a cold back and sides as well. It's winter down the wormhole. You know, very cold indeed in here. What we mean, my dearie, is a little combustion. You know what that is? Combustion? Isn't it fire? Mm, not bad for a beginner. Otherwise known as the rapid oxidation of fuel. Oh. The what? When oxygen and fuel join together, it produces light and, more to the point, heat. Among other things, it also produces carbon dioxide. That's combustion. And that would solve our problem. What is carbon dioxide? You're just one question after another, aren't you? Carbon dioxide is an invisible gas made up as its name suggests, of carbon and oxygen. Hmm. Just as oxygen helps combustion take place, so carbon dioxide, you'll find, stops it from taking place. You mean it puts fires out? Correct. However, all this chatter brings us no nearer to our solution to our little problem. Why don't you just light a fire? Just 
The boy says, just light a fire. Listen, we know what we need to start a fire. Mm -hmm. Fuel, oxygen, heat, but... Fuel's wood, right? Yes, it could be wood. What is... Mm. Oxygen. Oxygen's one of the gases that makes up the air. We all know that. What we don't know is where to get the heat from. Oxygen plus fuel plus heat. Take any one of them away and poof, no combustion. Well, where are you? I better go. All right, keep your hats on. I'm coming. Come on. Soft facts, hard facts, packed with information. Couldn't you just use matches? Give me a chance. Come on. I haven't even had time to say goodbye. You fat don't seem to be very practical. A parking garage? Who needs a parking garage? We'll have to get rid of him, like I said. Hi, guys. Where have you been? Oh, around. There's another problem as well. I was doing my rounds this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Come see what I found. How did he get in here? There are plenty of corners he could have pried open. The point is, what is he doing here? <laughs> What? Who are you? Huh? That's what we were going to ask you. I'm the new night watcher. The true I am. This is my place, and these are my friends. Uh huh. Well, you can tell your friends, and you can clear off. Go on, clear off. It's my place now. You hear? It's. My place now. Uh, Frankie! Oh, hi, Frankie. Hi, guys. <laughs> oh, Mama Bones! <laughs> Molwen. What can we do about him, Mama Bones? It's my place. He can't just move in. Hi, <laughs> Boom Danam. Wait and see. He probably needs to slip it off. Huh? Then he'll be on his way. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've got some fat cook here for us. Fat cook? Frankie. You've never eaten a fat cook? They're the most delicious. The tastiest. <laughs> the most mouth-watering things in the world. Come on, Mama Bones. Show this know-nothing boy what fat cooks are all about. <laughs> Come on, Jay. Light these candles for me. I need some extra light before I'm done. Now show Mama Bones. Mama Bones, we think that man wants to buy the warehouse to build a parking garage on it. Huh. A parking garage? Yeah. <laughs> It'll be difficult to find a corner to rest my old head in a parking garage. Mm. But we're going to stop him. Sure. We've got to stop him. No! Oh. 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 Where's the water? Oh. 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 No, not water. It's just you. Oh. it. Oh. Then how can you put it out? Oh. A fire extinguisher. Heat, fuel, oxygen. Ah. Okay. Now, Jay, what are you going to do? It's going to burn. No, it won't. Look. <sighs> Combustion needs oxygen to burn. So, if you stop oxygen from getting to it, the fire should go out. Hey. Ah! <gasps> not bad, little <laughs> <laughs> I smell fat, Cook. It's the man I found in my place. Oh, you look cold, Baba. Things feel colder when you're hungry. <laughs> Come closer to the fire and warm yourself. I'll make you a fat cook. Thanks, Sissy. You tried to chase us out of my place. Now you ask for food. Spider. Well, I'm sorry, Mama Bones, but it's true. I found him sleeping in my warehouse. And when we woke him, he told us he was a night watchman. Clear off, he said. I'll tell you a story if you let me warm myself at your fire. He's cold and he's hungry, Bond. And when he's warm and full, will he chase us out of my warehouse again? Of course not, Spider. Maybe he just had too much to drink. All right. You can tell your story then. Mm. Ayanda, Ayanda, don't let the candles go out. Hey, you've put it out. I didn't. I just held the glass over it like this. Look at that! What makes it go out? Perhaps fire needs fresh air to burn. 
the moment you shield it from the wind, it starts to go out. No, look at the wicked Mama Bones' lamp. That's shielded from the wind, but that doesn't go out. I know. It's the smoke from the wick that puts out the flame. There's not enough fresh air to blow away the smoke, so the flame just goes out. No, I don't think so. If smoke put out fires, then every fire would go out on its own. You know what I think? Mm -hmm. I think the carbon in the fuel with, joins with the oxygen in the air to produce carbon dioxide. And the carbon dioxide sort of flows down onto the wick and puts the flame out. Jay, where do you get these ideas from? Uh, well, it's actually not my idea. This carbon, what's this stuff? Uh, uh, carbon dioxide. It's made when oxygen combines with carbon. Oxygen in the air, carbon in the fuel. What fuel? The wax in the candle, I think. And maybe the, the wick as well. Listen, if you want me to tell you a story... Uh, we won't be long. So this carbon... Dioxide. Puts fires out? Look for the last time. Okay, bro Joe, we're ready now. Listen. In the beginning of the world, when rocks were young, and the mantis... What's a mantis, Ayanda? A praying mantis. If you don't want me to tell a story, I won't. No, 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 Brajo. I was just explaining to Jay what a mantis is. But go on. Mantis spotted ostrich one day while he was preparing his supper. What do ostriches eat? Shh. Mantis was hungry and thought he could snatch a crumb for his dinner. So, he sneaked in close to Ostrich. A tremendous surprise. He saw Ostrich roasting his dinner on fire. When Ostrich had finished his meal, he carefully picked up the burning embers of his fire and tucked them deep into the pit beneath his wing. Now Mantis could see at once how useful fire could be to him. So, he decided to steal it from Ostrich. But how? For days, he planned and schemed. He thought of one secret after another, but none he thought would fool Ostrich into giving up his great secret. But then, at last, he had an idea which he thought would work. So, he went to Ostrich and he said in a voice as smooth as honey, Ostrich, come with me and I'll show you a wild plum tree that I have found so heavy with fruit that its branches groan and creak in the wind. Now, of all the fruit in the world, Ostrich lacked nothing better than the juicy yellow fruit of the wild plum. So, of course, he went with Mentis to the tree which Mentis had found. At once, Ostrich began to snap off plums from the lower branches of the tree. But Mentis said, don't waste your time on the fruit down here. I see much tastier plums nearer the top. So Ostrich stretched his neck and began plucking plums from branches higher up the tree. No, 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 no said Mantis. That's not high enough. Look at that great yellow plum at the very top of the tree. It's the biggest and the juiciest of them all. So, Ostrich, excited by the gleam of that grandfather of plums, stood on tiptoe, opening his wings wide to balance himself as he reached for the plum at the top of the tree. And at that moment, Mentis snatched the fire from beneath his wing and ran. His plan had worked, and at last fire was in the world for all creatures to use, including man. In the beginning, there was no flame. Yeah.
what a pretty song. And what a fine chorus. Brother Joe here tells me it's a chorus made up of warehouse ghosts. <laughs> One ghost. <laughs> two ghosts. Oh, no. Three ghosts. Four ghosts. <laughs> now, I understand what you're doing here. But Brother Joe. Your place is in the warehouse looking after my interests, not hobnobbing on the pavement with a bunch of spooks. But it was cold in there, uh, Mr. Agrippa, and I smelt a fat cook, and, uh, well, uh, I'm sorry. You are just a spy, eating our food, sharing our fire, pretending to be someone you aren't. Spider. <laughs> and as for you, Mr. Whoever you are... Mr. Agrippa, <laughs> at your service, Miss uh, Spider, is it? Well, if you're the spider, where's your web? <laughs> you don't own the warehouse. You can't throw me out. I can't? <laughs> well, let me tell you, young lady, if you or any of your fellow spooks set foot in the warehouse, you're breaking the law. And... Faithful brother Joe here will see to it that you're turned over to the police for breaking and entering. Uh, uh, and you know what that means, dear little ghosts? Uh, that means jail. Uh, well, come on, Joseph. It's time to take possession. It's not fair. Who said I had to be fair? But it is very cold in there, uh, Mr. Agrippa. Well, let's take this brazier along with us, shall we? <laughs> it's Mama Bones. You can't take that. We can make another spider. Let them take it. Here we go. Ah, you can't get in there. Open the door, brother Joe. It's no use. It's jammed shut. My dear little spider, brother Joe here has cleared the way inside earlier today. You don't think I'd let so small a thing as a jam door stop me, do you? Right, up she goes. Help. Mm. This will be fine. Be warm with the fire. Better than freezing in the back room. If any of those children sneak in here, yeah. you know what to do. Um, catch them, hold them, wait for you to come back tomorrow morning. Excellent, Brother Joe. You stick with me and you'll go far. <clears throat> Thanks, Mr. Agrippa. Good night, Joseph. Go to bed, boys and girls. Go to bed. This warehouse is none of your business. You keep out of my way, and I'll keep out of your way, and that way we'll both be happier. You haven't bought the warehouse, have you? That's none of your business, Spider. And since you haven't bought it, you can't tell us to keep out. You are the one who's breaking and entering. You are the one who should be put in jail. Listen to me, Spider. <laughs> I won't have any more of your lip. Do you hear me? <laughs> now, get out of my way! It's okay, Spider. What I want to know is what's going to happen to the facts? More important, what's going to happen to you, Spider? Yes. I'll be all right. It just makes me mad. Seeing that horrible man tramping all over us. You can sleep at our place tonight if you want. Yes. No. I'll stay with Mama Bones. We'll be okay. Okay. Come on, Jay, it's dark. Oh. Ma will be worrying. Okay. Yeah, I must go too. They'll freeze on the pavement. Oh, I'm sure they'll make another fire. Yeah, sure. While Bra Joe sits in Spider's room, all snug and warm with Mama Bones's brazier. Well, what can we do? And then, to make everything worse, they stole Mama Bones' brazier and took it with them into the warehouse. Yeah. He's sleeping in the office with that spider tent into her bedroom. Well, I hope he leaves the window open. He can't. The window doesn't open. Spider says they think they nailed it shut. So he'll be nice and warm while Spider sleeps on the pavement. Ma, huh? why should he leave the window open? Well, Mdanam... It can be very dangerous to have a burning brazier in a closed room. 
it can kill you. Oh, yes, because fire uses oxygen and we need oxygen to breathe, right? Mm -mm. It's Mm -mm. more than that, Jay. Fire also makes a poisonous gas and it can kill you very quickly. How long has he been in that room? Um, about... Uh, Maybe two hours. Ine, let's go at once. Spider, spider, what is it? It's the man sleeping in the warehouse. Oh, yeah. Yes, it's this way. We're Come. Is in trouble. Oh. A big match is on a candle. Brajo. 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 Brajo, wake up. Wake up. He won't wake up. <coughs> We've got to get him out into the fresh air. Yeah. Someone grab his feet. Ah. Okay. Okay. Ah. Okay. Ah. Okay. Ah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heavy. This way, Jiga. This Jiga. This way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Will he be all right? He's been there quite long. Carbon monoxide is a very, very dangerous gas. He's not going to die, is he? No, I don't think so. Look, he's waking up now. Spider, oh, can I have these? My head. Yes. I'll get him a glass of water. I think we're just in time. Uh, hello? Pets? Are you there? Uh, Kobo? Uh. Oh. It's, 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 it's my, 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 my ten! <laughs> Too cold to talk anyway. Water freezes at at zero degrees centigrade. Um, I don't want to know about cold things. Uh, Tell me about the poisonous gas that fire makes when it burns. Carbon monoxide. Uh, That's it. (laughs) Carbon Carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is formed when fire burns in an oxygen-starved environment, for instance, a closed room, it is an invisible gas that is very poisonous and can quickly cause death. But, but cold can also kill. Yeah, I've brought you something. Huh? Matches. Oh. Cobble told me you didn't know how to make a fire. Um, you know, we do know the theory. It's just that uh, we don't seem to be able to do it. Oh. Well, um, just take one out. Mm-hmm. Now scrape it along the edge of the box. Oh! Ah! Oh, don't burn yourselves. I hope that'll help. Oh, I'm feeling better already. Oh, Imagine. Oh, oh, oh. It's our first fire. Oh. Uh, just be careful. Fire's dangerous, so don't do anything stupid. Oh, oh, oh. You've got one match left. Don't waste it. Good night. Mm. Come on, give it to me. No. It's my time. No, no, no. no. no it's let go, let go, let go. Oh, oh no, look what you've done. You oh. said you must be careful. <sighs> I'm feeling much better now. Well, now that we've saved your life, perhaps you can tell us a thing or two. Has Mr. Agrippa bought my warehouse? No, the person who owns it won't sell it to him. (laughs) I thought so. So he can't throw me out. (laughs) And let me tell you, Brajo, if he tries it again, I am going to fight back. We'll We'll all all fight fight back. back.
Spider, what are you doing? Welcome to Spider's comic and video shop. Hey, this is all about us. It's all about Spider's play. Here's me. There's a comic, a video, and an audio cassette for each of our adventures. And we buy them from you? Sure. Or write to Handspring Trust at 1 Magnet Street, Kensington, Johannesburg, 2094. Hmm? Mm-hmm.